And hello everyone, Blade here. Welcome to my 1500 subscriber milestone video. And in the co-driver's seat today we have Hypnotoad. Yes. Yes. And we're gonna answer some questions you guys posted here. And how do you th feel about driving to Germany today? Or what? We how oh, do yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. Or we could try to go to Great Britain. Yeah, then people can at least see like the transition. Ah, I here. Think if you, Cambridge. If you, if you go to Great Britain, actually it takes less time because you know you skip like a whole lot of distance through the water. That's true. How about Cambridge? Well, yeah, just go for it. Yes. I'm not carrying the slightest. Alright, right, first question. Already? Uh, yeah. I mean, we have a lot. Or you have a lot. Oh. Lich Lichti. Uh, 1981, two weeks ago, asked, First of all, congratulations to your subscriber count. What was your longest drive distance on your job? And how did you find those games? Are you searching the Steam store or reading PC game magazines? Um, wow, that, that's actually a lot. Okay, the first question was, what was your longest drive in distance on your job? Um, whoa, that was a big lag spike. Uh, ay, 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 yike. Spike, 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 spike! Wow, we just started again and almost had another fucking crash. But my longest drive was from Zevolde to Liège. And that's, that's France, right? Uh, Luxembourg. Oh, okay. It's close to France, though. It's close to France, yes. So, how are you finding these games and are you searching the Steam store for them or are you reading PC magazines? Um, both, actually. Um, I used to be subscribed to the Power Limited. Just want to say that you took that crossroad quite speedy. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on. Let me check something. I need to check the map here because... Alright, no. I I, th I thought I forgot to pick up the trailer, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, well, whoa, what happened? Uh, but no, I, uh, I'm subscribed to... Um, Power Unlimited, you wait. And um, I'm also just rummaging through the Steam store, of course. Basically, as any normal gamer. As any normal gamer. And of course, if someone has a heads up and I'm like, yeah, dude, you should totally check this out, it's right up your alley, then yeah, I do that. There's a game coming out, by the way, that one of my subscribers told me about. Uh, it's a mix between DayZ and Minecraft. Okay. So it's a zombie game, kind of like Minecraft ish. Anyway, next question. We're going to have a race here with a bus. Yeah. <laughs> PSP Max uh, asked, how did you meet Hypnotoad? Um, we had that already a few times. But yeah, well, apparently ahead. still a lot of people don't know it yet, but we uh, we met actually through Jobs, though. And World yeah. of Tanks. Yes. Strangely yeah. enough. <laughs> in, in, a, in a weird, like, was it Ventrilo, was it? Yeah, yeah Ventrilo, yeah. yeah. And we annoyed the hell out of another guy who was called Pete. So we made some voice commands and laughed all day. Basically, the, those were text-to-speech uh, text uh, voice commands. Yeah. We just uh, linked to our numpads. And then while playing, you know, we're, we're really serious playing. All of a sudden you hear ass, 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 ass. Too sorry, too sorry, too sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I like to go to the bar, bend over sideways and stick things in my ass. <laughs> ass, ass, ass. <laughs> and you could also get like different pronunciations on ass, where like yeah, you just by put putting a question mark or an exclamation. Yeah. Ass, ass, <laughs> ass. So what are you delivering? Actually, it looks like a farm. Like, um, let's see. We can actually check that now. Uh, potatoes. Ah. Oh wow. That, we yeah. Oh wait, no. We're gonna do the top one. That's more money. Meh meh. Meh meh. That's right. Meh meh. Meh meh. Alright, um... So where's uh, the damn trailer? Oh, there it is. 2503 Victor asked, where can I buy this game? It's on Steam. Yes. That is the answer. <laughs> Short, <laughs> but strong. Can you load the wrong thing? Um, no, I actually... Can I steal some potatoes? <laughs> I was just about to say something, but I can't say that here. It's not nice. Alright, hang on. This might get a little loud. I'm not gonna park them. Just gonna hook up the trailer. What? 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 Damn, you're so perfect with that shit. Look at that. 
<laughs> I would have totally failed at that. Oh well. Um, Eric FF asked, what car do you drive? Um, well, that's my luxurious car or truck? Look, luxurious car, I like that. I would, I would call it normal car. Yeah, well, my normal car is it's an uh, it's an Opel Astra or Vauxhall Astra, as they say in Great Britain. Or if there's people from Australia, it's a Holden Astra. And your truck? Uh, Duff. Okay. Same brand as this one, only smaller. Instead of the XF, it's a CF. So. And what does that mean, CF and XF? Just for the noobs here. Um, I actually don't know. <laughs> All right. Wow, that bus coming! Oh my god, that guy's fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, and oh, now he uh, just... What? Did he give you the light? Yeah! I think it, yeah, wow, that's pretty cool. Go ahead. Yeah, he's playing. That's pretty sexy, holy shit. Yeah, but I doubt I can fit through here. But I'm gonna try... Yes! Take it easy! You can, you can already see that you're not in France, because every, everybody's so nice. <laughs> oh, everybody's damn. so nice in, in Netherlands. Oh! <laughs> it's gonna be close. Yeah. Shocker spirit. I made, made that. Sweet. Thanks, so, Mr. Busman. <laughs> Fury Fast asked three questions. So the first one is, what is your favorite game of all time? Theme Hospital. Yeah. <laughs> with the Elvis. Yeah, with the King Kong, King Kong <laughs> complex guys and the guys with the bloody heads. Yeah, that was a good game. I agree. Uh, I loved it. Uh, which genre of games do you like the most, or do you play most of them, uh, most of the time? Mm. Wow. Some guy was outside singing, did you hear that? No. Okay, good. <laughs> um, what genre do I like? Um, I'm into shooters, I like adventure games, I really like the Batman Arkham cities. Uh, Arkham uh, series, yes. Arkham Origins, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. That shit. Shit. That shit. That shit. That shit. And last but not least, a uh, very hard question, uh, which he probably can't answer right now. Uh, what are your PC specs? Um, I don't know yet, but I am going to do some digging on it because a lot of people have been asking for it. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. So let's just say he's not really completely into computers and hardware, so he can only tell you by posting a comment or so. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and post my specs in the comments set or, or in the description. Let's say that. Yeah, you should. That's I'm a good try. idea. Yeah. Next up, we have uh, Juiced One Four Two Three from. Well, I'm not sure where he's from. Where's the Netherlands? Wait, sorry. <laughs> Where's the Netherlands? No. Hypnotoad can't read. Where in the Netherlands do you live? What town or city? Um, well, let's start with the province. That's the province of Utrecht. That's almost in the middle of uh, Holland. Well, I, I, I'd say it's the middle of Holland. Um, in a little town called Leusden. That's close to Amersfoort. That's a big city there in that province. Um, yeah, that's where I live. All right. Yeah. And we have Joe McMillan. Will you be doing any more SimCity? Kind yeah. of obsolete. Yes, I will <laughs> be doing that. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I haven't fucked up my cities yet, so as long as I don't fuck them up, I keep playing them. Lane's kind of sneaky with that. Kind of like Bob. That was sneaky too. That was sneaky too. Um, Axel Poulsen asks, uh, first of all, congratulations with your milestone. Thanks. My yes. My first question. Do you live in the Netherlands or are you just from the Netherlands? I live, or live somewhere else. I am from the Netherlands and I live in the Netherlands. Yes, yeah, in Utrecht. Yes. My second question I know uh, some may find it impolite to ask um, that kind of question. How old are you? I am 26 years young. And Hypnotos, one year older. Yeah, but aren't you more like 26 and a half? Almost 27? Uh, no, I turned 27 on June the 3rd. Oh. Yeah, then I'm like almost. You're older, yeah, but I'm yeah. bolder. <laughs> <laughs> Old and bald. <laughs> da, 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 da. Neil Sandalak, man. <laughs> oh. Old and bold. Going right, strong. Uh, Cthulhu123 was asking I was wondering why do you uh, do all your commentary in English? 
Is it just to make you more accessible for people, or is it, um, well, is there another reason, basically? Um, I just prefer English over the Dutch language, actually, truth be told. Um, and you can and you can just get a, you can reach out a much bigger audience than when I just do it in Dutch. Yeah, sure, I can do it in Dutch, but then, like, I think 90%, even, maybe even more, but 90% of my subscribers won't understand what the heck I'm saying. First Just for of, a little bit of a kick here, I would say that you try to commentate your gameplay right now in Dutch. Just try it, and people will see why you don't commentate in Dutch. But uh, how should I do that? I mean, there's not much to talk about here. Just no, just what you're doing, you know, just as if it, this would be the start of the video right now. Just try it in Dutch. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a little startup then in Dutch then. Uh, hello, allemaal, Blade here, and welcome in by my let's play of Euro Truck Simulator 2. We zijn onderweg naar Cambridge, net vertrokken uit Groningen. Ik praat nu Hollands omdat het moet van Hypno. Uh, ik ben nu ook bezig met mijn 1500 uh, subscriber milestone video voor YouTube. Uh, waarschijnlijk verstaan een shitload mensen me niet. Um, ja, meer kan ja. ik daar nu, nu niet aan, uh, niks aan doen. Dus uh, we gaan maar weer gauw terug naar het Engels. All right. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Eat your heart out, guys. So if you're German, you understood like part of it, and if you're English, you also probably understand part of it, but not completely, so that's probably why. I bet everyone understood the shitload part. Yeah. <laughs> and Groningen and uh, Cambridge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see, where was I, where was I? Okay, there. Um, Sitting Engel. in a co-driver street. <laughs> uh, see? No, that's empty. Look down at your feet. You're a ghost. <laughs> so are you. Maybe yeah, you're just... Maybe Look you're just that. running you outside the window really hard. <laughs> you don't even have uh, freaking the hands on the wheel. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? I'm, I'm just staying with my knees. You don't see yeah. them. But even if you look down, you don't have knees. It's <gasps> steering with your mind. Mind quad. <laughs> mind control. Alright, um, nlens88 asks, What is the story behind the tattoo you use as your profile picture? Oh, damn. Uh, oh, I, that's I'm, a tight turn. That's a really tight turn. But I'm making it. Oh damn! It's going through the grass a little bit. Damn! Who the hell designed this? Some fucking <laughs> gnome? <laughs> what? Well, in Germany, that would be called a, like a cycler's lane. <laughs> <laughs> wow! A, this is fucking designed by a damn gnome. In his gnome car. Hey ho! Hey ho! Probably I'm a mini or something. The there we go. Um, the meaning behind my tattoo, it's a, it's part biblical and part very personal. Um, I would say for the sword and shield part, uh, look up uh, Ephesians from the Bible. Ephesians 6 verse 11. Just for sh shits and giggles. Um, and the, the wings on the side, uh, well, I, 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 I got two si sets of wings on there. Basically, every set of wings stand for something important uh, or... Yeah, um, important thing that happened in my life. The first set is because is uh, is there because a few years ago I almost lost uh, lost an eye on uh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> Shut Sorry. up! It's not fun. <laughs> I burned my eyebrow, you <laughs> sadistic idiot! <laughs> I had blisters. I'm, I'm German. That's what we do. Yeah, you laugh at other people's pain, huh? Um, and the other set of. Um, wings is because something very unpleasant happened to my sister almost when she oh was yeah, on holiday in Spain. That. Yeah, she, uh, well, uh, I, I'm just gonna be blunt here. She almost got raped by someone. So, yeah. She, uh, the both of us both had an angel on our shoulder, so that that's what the uh, wings represent, actually. That's why I have the tattoo on my shoulder, just to uh, remember, me, uh, just for myself to remember in case I get dementia or something later on in life. And if you didn't notice, even atheists and Christians can get along very well. Yes. Yes. Oh fuck. Unless sometimes when I'm when I'm a bitch basically. Yeah, sometimes uh, yeah, sometimes he just likes to bash <laughs> on my religion. I just let him do that because he's a good friend. Any other guy I just get it to go full jihad and just, you know <laughs> set him on fire, that sort of shit. Nah. Nah, nah, just kidding. Nah, just kidding. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit of gas. So next up, BMV 40, uh, 440. I'm assuming that Hypno will be with you in this Q&A. Yes, you're damn right. And I will ask you both, if you don't mind. Well, well, I don't know yet. Actually, we you do. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
guys like any games like Borderlands 2 or anything in the style? Yes. Yes. We have played Borderlands 2 and co-op. <coughs> so yes. yeah. I think that could be fun with you and Hypno stick together and make a free lobby with the subs. So, hmm, what's your favorite beer brand? Mine would be Berliner Weisse. Uh, mine's Hertog Jan. Took John's basically translated into rough English. Yes. Which is very tasty. And Berliner Weisse would be just Berlinian uh, white beer. Berlinian. <laughs> Berlinian. Berlinian. I keep forgetting to use the flippant cruise control on this thing, but... Got it. Um, and with the, with the thing with the free lobby, with the subs basically, we can only play uh, Borderlands 2 with 4 players and then once again, you know, if you have, let's just say only 20 people would show up, right? Which is not a lot. Well, it is actually a lot, but let's say 20 sh people show up and we can only play with 2, right? Then, you know, the other 18 people, are, they, they're kind of disappointed and then, you know, hate wars get on and, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Same goes with SimCity. I got a lot of invitations and Hypnotoad as well, just for people to um, that, that really want to play in our region. But the reason we do not do that is because uh, people could get in here, uh, could get in there, and just claim every plot of land. So basically, yeah, that would, that would be it, basically. Yeah, basically, fuck it up for the rest. Yeah, then we would have the ND series or basically contact EA support and basically tell them to tell them, get yeah. the fuck out of there. And that would be a hassle and, you know. A, a, a lot of extra work and the last thing we want is to have an argument or even a fight with uh, the subscribers. So. Yes. So, next question. Mark Huzan asked, uh, can you do a bit on the programs that Hypnoto taught you to use for Let's Plays? What um, programs are good to use? What PC specs uh, should you use? And why would uh, do you need more than one screen to do Let's Plays? Uh, well, about that last part, you do not need two screens to do Let's Plays. It's only handier for you when you do streams, so you can use one screen to actually game and use the other screen to, to monitor the chat a little bit, just to get more... Um, uh, more uh, just to get closer to your uh, viewers. Um, the amount of the, the programs that I'm using and Hypnotoad, I would say just YouTube it. There's a lot of tutorials on how to use Sony Vegas, how to use DX Story. Um, those are a handbrake. lot clearer. Those are, yeah, Handbrake. Those are a lot uh, easier to understand than us just to explain everything bit by bit. Well, I can explain a little oh, bit. Oh, fuck, here. I got a speeding offense. Oh, that's what you get. Well, you're distracting um, me from driving. <laughs> basically, we're both recording with DX Story, but you can also use Open Broadcaster for that if you really need to, uh, because Open Broadcaster is free. Um, then, uh, after the video was recorded, um, you put it into Vegas, you edit it a little bit. Fucking and bus. If you need to add like a title card or something to it. And afterwards, uh, well, basically that happens in like very uh, low compression and very high um, quality still and after that we throw it into handbrake which is also a free program by made by some French people um, that compresses the video uh, we're using an x264 codec um, to put it well to make it very very small basically or at least as small as possible with no quality loss so um, it's basically double encoding and most people wouldn't agree with that but it's I mean the quality is brilliant so yeah yeah uh, this PC specs you should use for that doesn't really matter it just, just matters that you have good frame frames while you're playing, and other than that, it just takes more time to render. Um, just a little tip, make sure you get a lot of space free on your hard drive. If yes. you do not have enough space, it'll just stop recording. I had that once while doing a stream of uh, SimCity. Yes. That sucked. You should have at least like one terabyte if possible just for recordings. Blade has only 200 or so. Uh, I actually cleaned up my one of my hard drives now. I got over 500 gigs available now. Oh, nice. Yes. I deleted so yeah, Saints Row and that sort of shit. Yeah, you should have 500 to 1 gigabyte if possible. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Markusan, once more, how long have you been a trucker and what did you do before that? Whew, um, well, I actually started trucking when I was 18. Just uh, the, the, the minimum age uh, that you uh, have to be to get a driver's license. Uh, I started out at a moving company just to get a feel for the, the small trucks. Per se, wow! I'm, I'm doing 104 kilometers an hour here, dude. That's yeah, not. I'm seeing this. That's not that's possible. Not no, it's not allowed. 
Um, I, I worked there for two years, but yeah, working at a moving company, it's not very good for your um, back. back and health. So I got a few back problems and I decided, well, I, I wanted to drive more, I wanted to have more mileage and do more actual trucking. So looked around and yeah, that's how I ended up at my uh, boss that I'm currently with now for six years already. So I've been trucking for eight years now. Nice. Yes. I didn't know that either, so that was a good question actually. I like that. Uh, Mike Clark asks, what upcoming titles are you looking forward to? Will you be buying a PlayStation 4? I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy a PlayStation 4. There have to, there have to be really good games for me to buy it actually. Although I do like the Uncharted series, I really like those. Uh, your report, that's the one I gotta take. Um, the next upcoming titles I'm actually very excited for is, um, well, I told you before, Batman Arkham Origins. I'm really uh, interested in how that's gonna look and how that's gonna play, of course. Um, cool, let's see, what else? What else? Nope, no traffic, good. Blade, are you excited for Ghosts, Call of Duty? <laughs> no. No Call of Duty game has ever spiked my interest any more than Modern Warfare 1 and World at War. Those two were the last two CODs I actually enjoyed playing. I think both Blade and I would enjoy Dungeon Keeper 3 or Theme Hospital 2. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. They should remake those. Seriously. That would be good. Oh yeah, that would be a blast from the past right there. 